I'm here to read the last two chapters of Pinky and Rex in the Bully. I can't wait to find out how the story ends. I've actually never read this book before. Chapter six, nice pink sneakers. Hmm, I wonder if Kevin's gonna tease him about his sneakers. On Monday morning, as they walked to school, Pinky told Rex how hard it had been to get his stuffed animals back from Amanda. She only let me have them when I said she could keep two, he said. Not Pretzel, I hope, said Rex. No way, Pinky replied. Pretzel missed me the most. Even Amanda understood that. I'm glad you changed your mind about being called Billy. Rex could hardly believe it when Pinky told him, had told her that part of the story. Me too, said Pinky. They had almost reached the school door when they heard a familiar voice behind them. Hi, girls. Ignore him, Rex whispered. Pinky turned around. Kevin was smirking at him. Nice pink sneakers, Kevin said. Pinky looked the older boy in the eyes. I like them, he said. Kevin shrugged. Isn't pink every girl's favorite color? Mine's yellow, said Rex. Pinky walked straight up to Kevin and poked him in the chest. It's none of your business what I like, he said, or who I play with. I'm not a sissy and I'm not a girl, and if you think so, it just shows how dumb you are. Kevin's mouth hung open as po Pinky poked him a second time and then walked away. Come on, Rex, he said. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Kevin called after them, but Pinky noticed that the bully no longer sounded quite so tough. I don't know if Pinky dealt with that correctly. I don't know if we should put hands on another person who's teasing us like that, even if it's just poking. A present, chapter seven. A present for me, Ms. Morgan asked, surprised to find Pinky and Rex standing at her front door with a beautifully wrapped box. Pinky nodded. But why, it's not my birthday. Open it, Rex urged his neighbor. When Miss Morgan saw what lay inside, she broke into a big smile. Paints and brushes, oh my. Now you can paint that flower bush, Pinky said. So Rex and Pinky gave her some paint and paint brushes to work on what she loves the most. Miss Morgan nodded. That explosion of pink, she said. Is pink still your favorite color? Yes, ma'am, said Pinky. Then the first picture I will paint will be for you. Pinky didn't care much about having a picture of flowers, but he didn't say so. All that mattered was that Miss Morgan was happy, and for the first time in days, so was he. So Pinky learned that he had to stand up for himself against his, the bully, Kevin, although I wouldn't agree with him touching and poking his bully. But using wor nice words to stand up for yourself and say, no, that's not nice. That's an appropriate way to handle a bully. And if someone continues to bully you, you can get an adult to help you in the situation. If you see someone else being bullied, it's always nice to be a good friend and go over and try and help them and get the bully to stop. I hope you enjoyed this story and we'll be reading another one tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.